Hello and welcome to day one of Haru Basho. That's the March Basho live Jurio commentary. Well, hang on. I'm going to stop you there. Yeah. Is yeah. it live? Yeah. I'm going to come back to that <laughs> and say it's not live. <laughs> we are in Osaka. We've been here since Friday. We had a lovely day yesterday, Saturday, and now... We've been at the sumo, so we were there all day today. We've watched Jurio already, but such is our commitment that we've come back to commentate Jurio for you. So we're staying uh, about a three to four minute walk from the Osaka Prefectural Gymnasium. We uh, did a little podcast where we thought yeah. we'd sit down for 10 minutes to talk sumo. 10 minutes we gave ourselves because we're hungry. We're hungry. And we so want to go and have hungry. dinner. But it took 50 minutes. No, it took 50 minutes. There's a lot, to s- a lot to say about the sumo today. But we're going to just sit here and uh, watch Jurio again. And to s- it's a great privilege to be able to watch Jurio twice. Uh, and we're going to tell you about it. We're going to talk through it. As we see Makushta just about to wrap up here with our final bout. Well, the vibe in the stadium today made me really realise how great live sumo is. So I would encourage anyone who has the chance to come to Japan and watch it live to do so. And I think a lot of people are over the next few months, right? Like I know that we've postponed this trip three times and finally we've been uh, able to come back and see some uh, live sumo. But the vibe in the stadium is so huge and it really showed me that Jurio is... uh, really stacked this time around. We've obviously got Asaniyama still in the ranks. Uh, can I just, just quickly interrupt here? The, uh, uh, ben is, gi- is giving us this information that Kawazoe was known in... Sc- he was the high school Yokozuna? Yeah. He was known as the small Hakuho. Oh, okay. I can't remember whether he delivered on that today, but we'll uh, oh, I know. see I very see. soon. I can see whether he did. Signs are good. The <laughs> signs are good. Okay, no spoilers. <laughs> I will not spoil another bout this whole time around. Oh, I remember this, yeah. So we were up, uh, we were not directly in line like the TV is here. We're up in uh, the east corner. So can I just stop you there? You pointed at the screen and said I the did. TV is here. So that's not really going to help people orient themselves. Well, the, t- the TV they can see. Oh, they the can TV see the TV. Here, yeah. yeah. The yeah. TV is what you can see sure. front on. But we were left, hand, <laughs> side, front, corner. And, it, like, as we see uh, these two go at it, there's something about seeing sumo from a different angle, yeah. isn't there? It's a, di- it's a different experience. Well, what we commented on in the podcast was that the Osaka Prefectural Gymnasium is amazing compared to the Kokugikan. Because the Kokugikan, it's where sumo, it's sumo's... Uh, it's spiritual home. and actual yeah. home. <laughs> uh, it's big. You can get 11,000 people or so into there. But Osaka, it's only about 5,000, yeah. just above 5,000. And so you're much closer. So even us in the, on day one, you know, we're not able to get fantastic seats because they sell out really, really quickly. So we're up in the corner. Thank you, Buy Sumo, buy tickets, sumo tickets, by the way. If you want to get Sumo tickets, those guys are amazing at... Uh, getting you what you need. But, um, yeah, because it was day one, we're, you know, we're sitting off to the side. But still, you feel like you're right there. Everyone's involved in it. The vibe is huge. Because you can uh, cry out now, because you can scream. We can scream. <laughs> you, what was the, the term? Uh, scream externally now. Externally, yeah. because you can scream externally. The vibe is very much back. As you can hear right now. Uh, and ongoing. <laughs> the match is like... You know, Absolutely. Enho's match and whenever a sunny armor comes in and the final bouts of the day, you know, the vibe is massive. So this is the final bout of uh, Makushita. It's Fuji Seiyun, who we've seen up here and higher. Well, before. and... And the... And Teretsuyoshi. Downtrodden. Look, it was, you know, I mean, you look to the corner on Teretsuyoshi's side. There's no salt there. No salt throw today, even if you wanted to do it. Uh, let's see how he goes today. 
crowd appreciated his presence. Yeah. They knew they were seeing a, I don't want to say former champion. I'd like to say current champion a bit down on his luck. I appreciate that he's, you know, still rocking up and that he knows that the camera is probably on someone like Ochi <laughs> right now. <laughs> Who is a future, wow. definite fu- future champion. Future. Yep. Future champion. That's his uh, sumo name. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Teretsu Yoshi is, is struggled and he's uh, turning up today, hoping to do well, his best. Yeah. I think we've, w- we've well documented the uh, courageousness of Teretsu Yoshi. <laughs> Even in his 0-15, uh, as we see him go here, uh, his 0-15 was a very courageous effort. And again, getting thrown down by Fuji Seiyun. Bravery uh, put into physical form. Oh, Teretsuyoshi. Will we see him come back yeah, to some kind of form? I'm not sure. I feel, it is a I feel this is temporary. Yeah. Oh, do you? Yeah, I do. I do. Well, I hope so because we went to the merch stand today. <laughs> uh, the official merch stand. There's yeah. there's two at the uh, yeah. Sumo in Osaka. There's a, um, I don't want to say unofficial because they must be official to be there. Yeah. But there's there's yeah. one area. But then there's the Sumo Kyokai uh, merch area where you've got to line up to get into. Yeah. You reach the entry, you get a basket, you get hunted a basket, and then you've got to be very officious with your time you've got a it's a very small area <laughs> it's like a six tatami mat area right it's very very small and you've got to suddenly get everything into your basket and then you're presented with all the guys from the oyakata channel yeah, like, suddenly yeah. saying you got to pay for this yeah. and suddenly it costs you know 200, 200 300 australian dollars and you're like how have i put so many towels in my basket the ricochet on your screen now he has the sumo world talking Ochi Ai. Yeah. The new protege of Yokozuna. Yep. Akaho, AKA, what's he going by now? Mio yeah, you know. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Didn't he change it halfway through there? Uh, he had yeah. a, another name there for a while. Yep. Didn't stick. No problems with that. His opponent today, Tsukaharu. Oh, Tsukahara. He's come up from Makushita. Uh, Makushita Visitor. Not uh, perhaps. Too much of a problem for Ochi Ai today. Uh, he'd, he'd be pleased that he doesn't have to. Well, I mean, Jirio debut coming up against. Uh, well, I mean, Makushita won. Tsukahara Tuka, has put in the hard yard at Makushita won, but this is a. Uh, yeah, I think when Ochi Ai saw the uh, Torakumi come out, he would be very relieved. He has won the uh, corporate Yokozuna. Championship comes straight into Makushita at Makushita 15. He's delayed his entry into sumo a little bit. He he won the <laughs> university one. He's like, no thanks, not now. I'm that good, I can wait. He's come back in through uh, a company. I need to check if my, I need to check if my work, work has a yeah. <laughs> sumo competition yeah. that I could get involved with. Yep. I don't think they do, <laughs> but I can't be sure. He's only 19 years old, 19. so when I say delayed, when I say delayed, he has not delayed it I, by very much. <laughs> the, the thing about Ochi, and I can see why people are getting on board, his body looks developed. Mm. He's very strong. He's mm. very big. In terms of the frame, his frame is ready. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, that's basically a buzz cut, right? I described well, I mean, it as a buzz cut in the... In the podcast, yeah, I, I mean, feel like yeah. <laughs> I feel like that I'd wasn't say right. It's a loose buzz. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a it's a comb comb back buzz. Yeah, comb back. <laughs> yeah, he's getting there, isn't he? But still, I mean, ah. that shows how new he is. He just decided. He's like, I'm actually I'm really good at this, and I'm ready <laughs> I'm to good take at this the thing chance. called sumo. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Hako has told me that I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm coming straight forward, and he pushes out Sukahara. Just so easy. Oh, and then he goes for a run. Little run. Well, he, wants to, he wants to meet the people. Yeah. He's like, hello. I'm my name, My name's Ochi Hello. Hello. Where are you from? Yeah. <laughs> oh, He's Japan. He's like, I'm from sumo world. <laughs> I'm from the world of winning. <laughs> yeah, well, he certainly is. I'm from Miyagino Effenbaya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but arrives 
in a very different way to Hokuseho and mm. looks looks a completely different Rikishi. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's it's packing. very hard to draw any big conclusions from today. I mean, this is regulation sumo from Ochiai. Wouldn't say he looked overly balanced, but and there he is saying hello to the, his new friends. G'day. It's bad. I'm Ochiai. Yeah, we saw him go for that run today and. It reminded me of Toby Zari because <laughs> there are a few people who love to go for a run into the crowd. Exactly. Toby Zari is one yeah. of them. And if he gets where Toby Zari, Komasubi, Toby Zari is well, right now, exactly. then he will be very happy. Uh, I mean, Sun Yaku is on this Rikishi's horizon. Oh, well, they always say that in their Jurio debut interviews. And we'll look forward over the next couple of days to see all the well, Jurio debut content on well, NHK. Well, we might have missed it today. Well, we... We might have actually. Well, and we'll miss it for the next four well, days, guaranteed. we won't guaranteed. know anything about it because <laughs> we'll be there. So yeah. we have tickets for day one to four. Uh, so we won't see any of that. So let us know. <laughs> Send us, you know, Please. the baby photos of uh, all the Jurio debutantes because that's the best part of it. Up next on the doyo, talk assure you on your screen at the moment. You show winner. Nara Native. Popular in Osaka, you'd think. Well, you'd think. Yeah. Pretty Didn't close. really thrill the crowd so much in terms of... Uh, I mean, I think the Osaka crowd is sick of seeing Tokushoryu. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they go down to the shops to pick up some oh. milk. Tokushoryu's there. Oh, he's there. His opponent today, though, Tomikaze. Well, he is back. Nishonozeki Abeya are now one of my favourites, obviously, Let's because I'm a big ex Kisunosado fan who's Kisunosado running that Haya, and he has taken Tomokaze into the fold, rehabilitated him from injury, and uh, put him back into sumo, and he's doing really well. It's hard to believe 2019, uh, November, mm. he went out with that injury that he missed. Six basho, yeah. a full year of sumo. No and way. it hasn't been the quickest trip back. No, it hasn't actually. Of course, it, you feel these days it's almost expected that, you know, quality rikishi make a very quick return. But I don't think that's always the case. No. Well, not with injury. Like, with disgrace, you can come back because you're not injured. Like, if you go out due to oh, well. a problem. <laughs> well. Gambling or. Gambling or. COVID or... COVID. <laughs> well, and, you know, and any combination of the yeah, three. Yeah, yeah. No problem. <laughs> no problem. Back. But poor old Tomokaze, yeah, he's true, got an, honest, yeah. an honest issue. An honest injury. What and was look, the, the fact there that... Well, the know, fact there... That, well, what I saw was that uh, back in January, uh, Tomokaze went four and three. Mm. Kimarete for Hataki Komis. Ah. Now, I feel that that must be an error. Jeez, it'd be weird if we turned up on the screen here. Oh my gosh. It? If we it's saw a possibility. Ourselves. Well we did It's a possibility. We did have a lot of towels. And actually Do we have some jury towels? Uh, on the podcast I commented how many Tomokaze, Tomokaze towels there were. And you would have had to buy this Tomokaze towel like back in twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so these are legacy towels. The people holding up these towels that you just saw. They're true believers. They're cool. They're cool. Yeah. They're our friends. Can he win today? Okay, the Gyorgi. Points are good by Ford. They're ready to go. I mean, there's a man ready for sumo if I've ever seen one. They go forward. Tomokaze under the arms of Tokushoryu. Tokushoryu, he rallies here. They're, they're fighting to find some stability, but it's Tomokaze who works Tokushoryu over the bales. Quality win there for Tomokaze. And you'd say a bit of a relief getting a win on day one. I think so. I think so. Like, he really wants to come back. Nishon Hoseki Oyakata, he wants him to come back. He's a quality ricochet to have in the hair. These guys want him to come back. Are we in there? Not yet. Well, jeez. <laughs> I wish we well, had I a tell you what. towel. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, he looks so, but look, he went low there. Uh, he got up under the arms of Tokushoryu, and that's a good way to go. But they locked up body to body. I mean, I feel like uh, Tokushoryu just didn't have the strength there to stand up against the inform Tomokaze. Tomokaze just denied space there to Tokushoryu. And, you know, Tokushoryu loves to get on the back foot, make a bit of room for himself, but completely denied today. Well, a dream start for Tomokaze. 
I love it. And next up, we have Thomas Shawhall, who has just finally fought his way to Jurio. Uh, he's been trying to get there for a long time, and he's chosen a lovely colour to join. Mongolian uh, Rikishi, so 30 years old. Well, I was going to say, can you give me a little bit of the, uh, the story behind what is uh, an incredible debut? Yeah, well... I mean, the story is uh, perhaps <laughs> not as interesting as uh, <laughs> someone who's just smashed in there and like Ochiha who's just joined or, or, or someone who's coming back from injury. I mean, this guy has really just fought his way there. He's been uh, in Makushta for the majority of his career. Okay, so he started in 2011. Wow. He got to Makushta by the next year. Oh, two years later, 2013, November. Okay, so he took a... You know, a little while to get there, and he's basically been there with a few trips back to Sandane uh, since then. So really, <laughs> well, <laughs> when we say rank and file, that's kind of Nakuchi rank and file. But he's Makushta rank and file. He's he's doing the duties in the Haya. He's working hard. Exactly. And he's finally. I, I wonder what this means to him to finally get to. I, I think this would mean a great deal to Tamashoho, and I think there's uh, there's a lesson in that for everyone. Just. <laughs> Do the work, do it consistently, and you'll get the rewards. Yep. You might, it might take how, you 15 years. How are you years. applying that to your life? Uh, this hey, day and every day. <laughs> I'm not. Okay, okay. I'm saying other people should. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. On the other side, <laughs> Taka Kento. Will he present Coming, the belly today? Well, let's see. We haven't Ooh, seen it come out yet. so far. Presents Ooh. the stomach! <laughs> There it is. There it is. Well, you can see Thomas oh, Hall. He's rocked. He's like, I'm sorry. He's rocked by it. D's down first. Tucker Kento attacking high under the uh, chin there of Thomas Hall. He continues the intensity, but Thomas Hall fights back and he pulls successfully and sends Tucker Kento to the doyo. I got that the wrong way around. Did I? Yep. I Tucker did. Kento won. Yes. Got a bit excited there. <laughs> nice and close to the microphone as well. Well, you know, <laughs> bit of colour, bit of movement. <laughs> no, that but was a great win. Big old yeah. win for Taka Kento. Taka Kento. Yeah, the stomach came <laughs> out over the top. It was Hataki Komi, which is weird that long into a bout. I mean, I, well, I know. I always feel like the Hataki Komi should come straight away. Like pull him down now if you're going to do it. But he didn't. He waited. He waited, well, well, and the then thing. pulled him down. The kimarete of Hataki Komi has a stink about it. <laughs> Do you know? It's a stink. And the thing is, sumo historians centuries from now will look at this bout and go, Hataki Komi, hey? Did he hanker? <laughs> yeah. And we have, no, we have yeah. no statistical way yeah. to prove that wasn't it. Apart from this uh, YouTube video, I guess. Or we're here saying no, that wasn't a hanker. Well, also, you're right. Thomas Shaw Hall won. <laughs> well, I've gone in it's been a long day. Top of that. It has been a long day. It's been a long day. If you're watching this and enjoying it. And, you know, the, thi <laughs> the thing that... Give us a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> we, we do this to try to bring some clarity <laughs> <laughs> to the sumo... And the division that we love so deeply, Jurio. Sometimes we're going to get it wrong. No. But what we what we uh what we get right all the time is our passion. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Doesn't matter. Your heartfelt apology. Doesn't matter. One. It's fine. Next up, Shimanumi. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming up I'm against Tochi Musashi. Musashi. He has won a Jurio Yusho before, but then. He's gone, so well. He's gone missing. He's gone missing a little bit. He has. He, he got their beautiful 11-4 Yusho show in uh, September last year at Jurio 14, and then seven and eight. That's a mark. And then four and eleven. Yeah. So he's really struggled to find. Uh, I'm going to say it. His brand of sumo. Oh, <laughs> controversial. Uh, look, I mean, you know, it takes time to settle into Jurio. I have absolute faith in uh, Tochi Musashi. So we take a little bit of an ad here. Um, look, it, it takes time. And, you know, 
Are you going to put a few makakoshis on the board before you get a few kachakoshis? Yep. It's taking me a little longer than uh, some people might like. Uh, you don't mind them taking a while to come no, up. well. Because you get so much experience. Exactly. You see a variety of opponents. Like he's coming up against Shimonomi here with years and years of experience. Would If he had have just blasted through Jirio, he wouldn't have had that well, experience you of know, facing Shimonomi today. There's <laughs> two ways There's two ways to do it. You either blow through Jirio mm. or you spend a lot of time there. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, you know, I, I think for Tachi Musashi, he's a young man. A lot of sumo ahead of him. This is all valuable experience. Will he learn anything from Shimonomi today? I doubt it. Well, Shimano Umi has, has struggled. So why is he down this low? Uh, you well, do well, you want me to answer he that? He got married. He got married. <laughs> Sometimes when you get married, uh, the joy of marital bliss affects your life in a negative way. Jeez, why we are you looking directly why? in my eyes while no. you say that? <laughs> oh, okay, we're married. <laughs> But we, we have achieved marital bliss. Well, yeah. I'm just saying sometimes on no, the other sometimes. side. I can imagine. I think the that big, it's a struggle. The big lesson Tochi Musashi would be taking away from this is stay single. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or if you get married, uh, don't get involved in the wedding planning. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jeez, I, I, I worry that they're going to cut to us and I'm going to be like doing something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Eating a biscuit. Well, let's see <laughs> how Shimonumi <laughs> is going to go here because he, he really has got more makakoshi than not since his uh, wedding. But maybe he's uh, just seeing it out to retirement when he can take over every stable available to him. He moves forward. He moves Tochi Musashi around. Oh, Tochi Musashi takes him right to the edge, but he moves back. Wow, he's a real edge merchant here, uh, Shimano Umi. <laughs> he's moving Tachi Musashi back all around the doyo and he crumples him to the ground. That's a real surprise. Yeah. I, well, as we see Shimano Umi looking to the back row going, you didn't believe, but you need to believe. Yeah, and we're saying, yeah, sorry. Oh. We didn't, and now we do. I'm not sure he was looking directly at us. I but think I, he was. But, uh, yeah, I feel he was. <laughs> Uh, good, fast, dynamic sumo <laughs> from Shima Umi there. Tachi Musashi looked a little bit, a little bit slow. Yeah, he did actually. For his age, as we see the replay here, Shima Umi getting underneath the arms, which was the winning uh, gambit, able to keep Tachi Musashi off balance. And then a very beautiful Iwate Dashi Nage through there at the end. Here we go. Ooh, they just cut away before the look. We got a bit of a look. We see a bit of soft focus here from Abema as they <laughs> tighten it back up. As we see Kunio Yobidashi. Beautiful voice. Beautiful. Best, best voice in the business. Well, hearing I'll, I'll talk over the whole time saying how good his voice is. <laughs> <laughs> well, hearing it today uh, it, at the Osaka Prefectural Gymnasium, uh, a real privilege yeah. and joy. Bowl cut, though. Yeah, bowl cut. <laughs> I mean, who's doing his haircuts? <laughs> He should be in a, in a J-pop band, Kunio. An old friend of mine said this, because, I don't know, you might know this, but as a male, mm. haircuts are hard. Well, uh, let me finish. Yep. <laughs> sure. <laughs> the, so the hard thing is, how do you describe what you want? Okay. That's the hard thing. I don't think... How do you describe what you want? Well... That's not the topic of this particular no, point. <laughs> Everyone but, wants to know. But a, an old friend of mine said, you go in there and you say, no corners. Oh. Now I feel yeah, he had that corners. Kunio yeah, should yeah, go yeah. in and say no corners. Because at the moment, his haircut is all mm. corners. Mm. It goes shave, bowl cut, coming around the other side. You know, no yeah. corners. Yeah. What I say, you know, well, you, I just you say told me what you said. I you say a bit of a trim. Yeah, a bit of a trim. I say a bit of a trim. I don't want to talk, you say. Yeah. You're not a fan of talking. I've told you my idea for a hairdresser for men. That you offer a service where you don't talk. No, it's more than that. You go on a general anaesthetic. 
So you're out for maybe two or three hours and you wake up and you've got a new haircut. You don't have to talk to anyone. Well, I think I've said this on the podcast before, which is possibly too much <laughs> to say, but I love talking to my hairdresser because she has a... Oh, no, you're... you're her, yeah. Her she has partner's quite a sister, sister is in a cult, cult yeah. in Australia and it's fascinating. <laughs> There's no more identifying information than that, but I do, we do enjoy talking cult dynamics. And thanks for joining us on Sumo Manichi today, where we only talk about sumo. (laughs) No haircuts, no cult dynamics, just sumo. How is a businessman, Kitnawaka, going? Well, I'm glad you asked, because he's up now against Chirunumi. One of our favourites from Okinawa. He hasn't been going so well, which is why he finds himself now down at Jurio 10. Yeah, it's been a mixed bag uh, for Trunaumi over the last 12 months. Has a perfect record over the last two bash of losing six straight. Not the best record to have. Certainly not. The last six of the The last last two two bash of, yeah. Well, they get ready to go. Kidnawaka down first. Trunaumi, what can he do here? Kidnawaka. Breaks there, shows his hand. Which is a perfect time to say that the guy sitting behind us today did not call out very often, but only for mata. Yeah. And every mata he called out, nande! Yeah, which means why, and I couldn't agree with that sentiment Just more. Just hated matas. <laughs> there they go again. Trunaumi under the arms of Kinawaka. Kinawaka fighting. He's got that right hand belt grip. Trunaumi with the left hand on the belt, but it's Kinawaka who is thrusting, pushing, but as Churunaumi, with that double-handed belt grip, exploits that advantage, flicks their hair back, gets the win on day one at Jurio 10. Great way to start the basho for Churunaumi. It is, and another loss for poor old Kidnawaka, who uh, has had two makakoshi before this basho. So we went 5-10 last time. I think he's got some injury. There's something plaguing Kidnawaka, something that is not working for him. After well, a 6 9 a 5-10. Looking at the replay here, Kidnawaka, he was stood up, centre of gravity too high, was unable to defend against Churunumi getting that second hand on the belt. Quality sumo. Jeez, I'm really worried about us coming on the screen. And I'm doing something dumb. I reckon we saw this family today. You know, we... we Nice Nice family times at the sumo. Absolutely. We saw a couple of kids today just roll out of the boxes. (laughs) (laughs) Just get a bit overwhelmed and just like go for a flop out of the boxes. There's so many families at the sumo. I love seeing families. It's a a beautiful thing to share with your kids and... uh, he, there's something about hearing the voices of Japanese youth yelling out yeah, names of they Rikishi. Were yelling oh, a lot, it's actually. a beautiful thing. The kids were really yelling today. Yeah. It was very nice. Yeah. And an absolute packed stadium, we should say, too. I mean, yeah. you know, I, I feel it's a time to reflect on the last few years where we've gone from seeing the silent bash show mm. uh, to seeing reduced capacities, but to see, you know, Absolute jam-packed stadium, people drinking, people yelling. It was totally masks on. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, That's fine. Wearing masks. Um, Except for that guy I can see right now who's not. <laughs> well, him. Yeah. Well. Go the camera. And that woman. Okay. Well, there was most mostly masks. She's having a drink of her tea that she got from the kiosk. So it's fine on your screen, Kotokuzan. Well, he's just gone off your screen. <laughs> AKA Hanukkah Kenneth Jasper up against Hakuyozan. Oh, Hakuyoza. So this bout today, it did not generate a whole lot of hype. And I always feel bad for these ones where it's just like no, I know it's about in passing. Yeah. We tried to give this bout a bit of a clap, but uh, it didn't really uh, generate a whole lot of hype. I mean, which is crazy when you look at this matchup, Kotokuzan. Haku Yozan, what more can you do? <laughs> well, Haku Yozan, he, he's still uh, trying to reposition him 
myself uh, down here after the U show quite a long time, quite a long time ago now, in March 2021. Uh, yeah, it feels like a the long time ago. Just failing himself. Yeah. Just trying to reestablish some kind of form after being down in uh, Makushta for quite a while. Kotokuzan, who who can out slap each other here? I think because Kotokuzan will come out of the box. The arms will activate. He will be going for the neck and the face of Hakuyozan. Hakuyozan may be usually a little bit slower to move. So will he be able to uh, combat Kenneth Jasper? <laughs> well, and Kenneth wants to reverse that 4-11 result from January. Can he get off to a good start today? Let's see. They go down together. And it's a matter of none, none there. there. Oh, and a badly timed ad here. Probably missed this bout. No, oh, yeah, I think I we might. Happens, I, I, I feel that this is a. Uh, I reckon I could commentate this one without the bout. Well, it's a bit unfortunate. Well, I think this is a Twitch ad, unfortunately. From my memory. Oh, we're oh. back. No, we don't need to go from my memory. We can go from the actual. From the sumo. replay. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> okay. No replay. No even. replay. It's before. It's just interrupted our stream. Great. Hakeels and comes in low, and it's he who does the two party. It's he who gets up high on Kotokuzan's body. That's what I remember. He comes out with a very Kotokuzan style of sumo and wins instead. Big win for Hakuyozan. Yeah, very, very uh, decisive sumo today from Hakuyozan. Confident Supari. This is positive sumo from Hakuyozan. I think so. I just think he came out interestingly with Kotokuzan's style. Because Kotokuzan, look, he's trying to get the Supari going there. He's trying to activate the arms. But, Kotokuz, uh, but Hakuyozan was way too close there and well, couldn't get anything done. It's looking at that replay, it's just a, a clear example of uh, Akiyozan ac being accurate with those thrusts, being fast, knowing where to land them, moving the feet underneath himself and a great way to start. Harubasho with a win, Akiyozan 1 and 0. Next up, we've got Tsushima Nada and Atami Fuji. Uh, you know, it was it was really nice to see Atami Fuji well represented with a few towels around the arena today. Yeah, there was popular uh, support for him. He's a popular guy. A lot of, uh, no, a lot of fans keen to support him. A lot to love about Atami Fuji. And, you know, speaking of someone who has risen rapidly, um, Atami Fuji found his way to... Maegashira 15, November last mm. year. It had a bad time of it, really, didn't he? Four I feel like the next time he's going back to Makuchi that I'm going to think it's the first time because it was so... I know. It was a brief um, stop. Yeah, it really wasn't impressive, and so <laughs> it's, I kind of <laughs> struck it out of my memory. I feel like he got inside his own head a little bit uh, in that bout. Oh, sorry, in that basho. I felt that... Maybe the sense of occasion was too big. I think that's a maturity thing. He's quite young. He's 20 years old. He's had a taste of the top division. And really, you know, every basho down in Jurio adds to the experience. He did go out Kujo on day 10 mm. in January. Mm -hmm. Can't quite recall... I can't remember what it was. ...what the uh, injury was there, but... Back now at Jurio 8, up against Tsushima Nara. Tsushima Nara, this is his third basho in Jurio. So he came in at Jurio 14 in November last year. He stayed at Jurio 14 with a 7 and 8. That's always lucky. He, uh, yeah, <laughs> you know my opinion on that. I know, he won the last you two days, so maybe that gave oh, him a yeah. positive... Uh, thought in I just Dunzuke think everyone, <laughs> play every, everyone deserves a second chance. Yeah, well, he got one. And then he <laughs> went 9-6. He won the last five days of the January Hatsubasho. And he's well, moved up to Jurio 9. If you win the last five days, it's good. 
It, it is good. It is good. Yeah. And he should be rewarded for that. Yeah, and he was. He went up to Drury Night in the usual way that uh, winners are <laughs> rewarded. <laughs> rewarded. <in the> <laughs> <cake. laughs> After a 9-6. And now he finds himself uh, against Atami Fuji. The vibe in the stadium was kind of low-key for this one. I thought it would be a little bit more... <laughs> Full on. I thought more people would be getting no, behind a Tommy Fuji, but I think they're a little bit hesitant, perhaps. I, I think Osaka's learning to love sumo again. It, <laughs> it, it's going to take some time. Georgie points the gun by forward. They are ready. A Tommy Fuji with his uh, usual casual wipe cleans up the line, gets his feet set. Not really in a hurry, as we see Sushimanado go down first. Atami Fuji out of the blocks, left hand straight on the belt. Powerful sumo from Atami Fuji today. Cleans up Sushimanada. Really uh, dominant performance there. Well, what we didn't mention was, was that this was a silver Mawashi v silver Mawashi battle. Mm. So they really so a tummy Fuji move merged into one there, but that was powerful from him. Moving away from the red Mawashi. Yeah. Was he silver last time? I, I don't remember. think so. But surprising that they're both silver because I feel like if you move off a Mawashi colour, you move to a more dour one, right? You're trying to take a step The browns, backwards. the blacks. That's right. Yeah. And so he's moved to silver <laughs> from yeah. red, which is fine. But, uh, can I, can I just today? say, I don't like them changing colours. All oh, right, you should never be able to. No, I don't think so. I, I think I think you need to pick a colour, stick to it. Mm -hmm. Well, if that was the case, we'd still see Hidden Omi in the pink. Well, so do you know, I like, love that. I don't want to foreshadow anything, but when I see Hidden Omi going around, I'm like, go back to the pink. Yeah, go back to the pink. It's a powerful colour yeah. that we associate with you. You picked it for a reason. Mm. I love you the know, change. I have to no, say I'm I on board like with the it. change because I think you should be able to change it to ha like the way you're moving through life. You've changed. You've changed your mindset. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, you've like I get your it. Vibe. And and like the example I would use in that case is Abi coming back with the black Mawashi. Yeah, he wanted to show he was serious. Yeah, he wanted to show he was serious, and he yep. certainly has shown that, even though he's a big cheat. <laughs> um. I, I, I think my frustration comes from the fact there's no way to track colour changes. Well, I started a spreadsheet, but um, yeah, I, know. I put like I three know. things in it and then I got <laughs> <laughs> It was called Mawashi Colour Excel. <laughs> well, I, speaking, of, I hate it. <laughs> speaking of a man who should go back <laughs> to the original <laughs> colour Mawashi, Hidnumi on your screen now, <laughs> up against... Shimizumi. Shimizumi. I love Shimizumi. We were excited today to see Hidnumi um, step out on the doyo. And I was excited until I realised he was up against Shimizumi, who I'm also a massive Hang on. fan of. You said Shimizumi was up against Shimizumi. No, Hidnumi. Oh, okay. Up yeah. against Shimizumi. I was excited to see Hidnumi step up on the doyo. Until I saw he was up against Shimizumi, whom I'm, I'm a big fan of. Hidenumi, I feel like I'm always wanting more from this Rikishi. Uh, 2021, November at Maegashira 9 went 8 7. After that, he was suspended. Got a little bit involved with gambling. Gambling. Yeah, gambling. He, he fell back to Jurio, too, and just has. Not found a way back from there, really. Uh, languishing in the lower division. I mean, he's putting up okay scores, apart from that 4-11 back in November last year. He's currently at Jurio 8. I feel like he's a Makuchi Rikishi. Well, is he anymore, I guess? Well, <laughs> you've answered that question <laughs> by asking that question. Absolutely. Shimizumi came into Jurio in March last year. He's been here for a year now. What can he do today? He's come forward strongly. He's grabbed 
hidden Umi's arm and they've locked up belt to belt. They've got the opposite arms on the belt here. Shimizumi's trying to wrestle uh, hidden Umi around, but hidden Umi's not moving. Well, he is mo now moving back. He's right on the edge. Shimizumi picks him up and takes him over the Tawara. Powerful belt sumo from Shimizu Umi today. Uh, I, I feel this is about hid hidden Umi should be winning. I feel he's, he should be stronger on the belt than he was today, but completely outclassed by Shimizu Umi. I think so. Shimizu Umi is in form. He got 9-6 in January. He got 8-7 in November. And looking, uh, he's in form. Looking at the replay here, though, Shimizu was really able to exploit that right-hand belt hold. He had the strength. He had the momentum. He got uh, down low. He got down low. The center of gravity was in the right place. Good stuff from Shimizu Umi. It's Aqua v Daimami. Now, we were really looking... Uh, we were looking forward to two things here with this matchup. Number one, we wanted to see Aqua give us a kakanago. So, we flew from Australia... To s well, Melbourne to Singapore had a six hour layover, layover stopover, and then we had another six hour flight from Singapore yep. to Osaka. Yeah, what's give, it all for? Give me a kakenage. What's it for? Akua, please. I just wanted to see. Well, I mean, I mean, in terms of Akua's career, I don't want to see funny sumo from him, but. Today, I really wanted to see... Not a funny kakanage. I want to see a successful kakanage. No. I want to see, like, funny kakanage, where it's like one, two, three goes at it, and it's everyone's <laughs> laughing and having a great time. Well, I feel like Daimami, if you're going to have a choice to do funny sumo, Daimami is not the guy to do it against. The second thing with this bout that we were looking out for was... Uh, the super fan of Daimami and his stable, uh, who is friendly named. What's the word there? Affectionately. Nicely. Affectionately named Daimami. Mummy as in mum. Or mommy. Mom. <laughs> Daimami in American. <laughs> um, but we couldn't see her. We looked all around. No, I don't think she was there we tried today. to see her with her... Uh, Day mummy jumper on. Maybe the Abema coverage will show us where she was because we looked all around. We yeah, I mean, we had a few blind spots. I mean, she might live in Tokyo and not be able to come it's to us. completely Osaka, true. Which is fair enough. Uh, so we were disappointed. Well, spoiler alert, we did not see a Kakanage. Yeah, we didn't. Uh, so this bout ultimately disappointed. Or was that her in the pink there that we saw the rear <laughs> oh, no. shot of? Now I'm full of doubt. <coughs> Who went knows? Too, went too quick on the old... Didn't see her. So the Georgi... No, he's, he's going to send them back for another moment of reflection with the salt. I mean, uh, Daimami's in form, right? Well, Daimami is in form, and I, I just don't think he's a rikishi you can take lightly. Aqua, coming off a nightmare... Uh, January, he was three and twelve. With we well, was chomping up the black dots in the first week. He was eight uh, losses as he went into the weekend. Well, I should say uh, into the middle day. Managed to pick up three to finish with a respectable three twelve. Look, we've seen. I mean, Aka was a puzzle, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So much talent. So much innate understanding of sumo. It's all about the application, though. Well, the application for Daimami wasn't great either. I feel like I'm living back in uh, November 2022, which was when he got his 11-4. Yeah. Because in January, he got 5 and 10. Yeah. January. So I was really remembering the, yep. the golden days yep. there of Daimami. So two Rikishi, down on their luck, down <laughs> on their form. But looking for, for better things. Looking for redemption. In March. Here they go. Akua down first. Daimami taking his sweet time. The mind games are being played here. Akua ready for sumo. 
All right, let's go. <laughs> Aqua under the chest of Diamami, and that's all he needs to do as he forces out the bigger opponent. Looking very cool on the walk back. Aqua, great way to start March. Confident win against Diamami. Well, this is where it really ranked up in the stadium because down the Hanamichi for quite a while, people had been seeing one ricochet and one ricochet only. He was over on the west, and that ricochet was Enho. So next up, it was Goniyama v Enho, and I guess I was just really surprised, ongoing surprise, at how popular Enho is. You can hear it here. Everyone's screaming for him, everyone applauding him, towels everywhere. He is a popular guy. Well, he certainly is a popular Akashi. And what we saw back in January, you know, I, I have to say that towards the end of 2022, I thought, this guy's all hype. And the hype has faded away. But there was something that happened in January. We saw a different Enho. I'm not sure if it's, there's been an injury concern that's gone away, but... We saw Enho of old, we saw the ducking, we saw the weaving, we saw the smart, small man sumo that saw him rise into the higher ranks. I feel this is a very important basho for Enho to, to follow up, to consolidate that great effort in January. But clear, very, very clear in the stadium that Enho is selling tickets, <laughs> he's selling merch, the kids love him, the adults love him, the grandmas, the grandpas, yep. everyone loves they him. Love him. We Do we love him? I love him. Do you love him? Oh, I think he's okay. He's pretty good. But his opponent today, <laughs> Gono Yama, uh, is from Takakuma Bea. And we saw Takakuma Oyakata today, but right at the end. So, today we saw a whole lot of uh, X Rikishi, Moto Rikishi. Uh, and if you want to uh, know who they are, you can listen to the podcast because I can't talk about them again because I'm so overcome by how great it was to see them. I will. It was Takakaze, we saw Kaise, we saw Hakaho, we saw Kakuryu. And right at the end, we saw Goedo. And he is Gonoyama's stable master, Oyakata. Uh, he's just changed his name fairly recently uh, from Nishikawa to Gonoyama to uh, join that stable. So, the last time I saw Goedo, mm. he'd been to the hairdresser. Yeah. He'd gone under oh, yeah, general anaesthetic. Yeah, you didn't recognise him. Well, we had <laughs> blonde tips. Yeah. No. <laughs> Not Shohozan. Oh, I'm getting you mixed up with Shohozan, of <laughs> Shohozan course. Shohozan has blonde tips. Actually... Ooh, the pan there nearly went to our seats. Wow, actually. It was just, yeah, just a little bit away from where we were. Would have been waving furiously. Yeah, we would have been. But uh, it was great to see Takakuma Oyakata today. Uh, this is one of his protégés, I guess you would call it. Uh, recent protégés. He's uh, joined Jurio in July. Last year, joined it like it's a choice. <laughs> He's <laughs> done good enough sumo to get up to <laughs> Jurio. And uh, he's achieved. You know, he got a uh, Kachikoshi in his first basho in Jurio. Then 6 9, but since then, 9 6, 9 6. He's moved up to Jurio 6, and now today he finds himself against one of the most popular Rikishi, Enho. He's assuming all the screaming today is for him, what can he do with it? And it's a mata. None yeah, there. <laughs> the guy behind us <laughs> hated it. Uh, I feel like that was from Enho, just trying to create a bit of bit chaos. Bit of confusion, yes, bit of exactly. confusion there. But Goniyama, he doesn't want to borrow a bit. It's like I'm hot twice your size. He's not even big Gonoyama, but anyone would be 
if I say in whose size, that's not how maths works, but <laughs> <laughs> somewhat. Ganayama, he's down. Ready to go he's higher than Enho, of course. Enho gets in, he picks up the leg. He gets under Ganayama's arm, but somehow Ganayama doesn't move. He tries to throw Enho across, but he isn't able to, but eventually he can throw him just across that to us. Well, I mean, Enho threw everything at Ganayama today. I think we saw every one of Enho's tricks. We saw him go low. We saw him try to grab the thigh. Well, we saw him try to get on the belt, but Gonoyama had an answer at every turn here. That was great from him. It was fantastic. I mean, this bout thrilled the crowd as we take the replay here. Oh, I mean, positive sumo from Enho. Found a way in, got on the back of the belt. Gonoyama able to keep his feet here, defend so well, but keep control. A great arm throw forcing Enho to the bales. Beautiful oh. sumo from Gonoyama. Yeah, I mean, lit the crowd up today, this bout. Love to see it. Enho, win or lose, is a pure entertainment machine. You can't deny that. Coming up next is a bout that I was really interested in last time around in January. It's uh, Roga, the uh, Russian rikishi, up against... Or Shoma. These two both kind of rising together, achieving success together, coming into Jurio similarly. Uh, well, they're, they're big guys. Exactly. Uh, there's a lot <laughs> of solid build. <laughs> a lot of parallels between these two Rikishi. Uh, looking at Oshoma, obviously picking up the Jurio U show back in November last year with that 11 4. Rocketed up to Jurio 3, had a bit of a bad time. Ended up with 7 and 8, a losing record, Makakoshi. Including a 5-loss streak in that second week. It was, it was a pretty good start for him. Uh, felt like the pressure might have been too much for him. Yeah. yeah, it was really interesting to see him fail after doing so well. Mm. Uh, and I think it might have been that... Post <laughs> yeah, win absolutely. slump. I mean, I'm a, I'm a firm believer in that. I think there's so much pressure. You achieve something, the pressure gets taken off a little bit, and then it's hard after mm. that. What, you reevaluate your goals. What are you What are you striving for? Uh, what are you <laughs> what, achieving? <laughs> what does life mean? What, life what mean? is sumo? I'm not saying that at uh, 45 I'm uh, talking about <laughs> any of these questions personally. <laughs> I'm just saying yep, that if you were Oshoma, maybe absolutely you're going can't relate. <laughs> <laughs> Roga, he's taken a little bit longer than Oshoma uh, to establish himself, but not much longer. Only since uh, 2019, basically, came up pretty quickly. And since he's joined Jurio, he's gone nine six nine six. I mean, that's a powerful statement. Yep. Champion of tomorrow. Yeah. I think you'd have to say so. Yeah, we'll look forward to him in Maguchi for sure. I think both of these. I'm surprised, like many maybe, that Oshoma hasn't already uh, pushed his way up in there. But I think there would be quite a few who would be surprised that Roga hasn't as well. Yeah. Early days, though. It's fine. As Don't worry about it, guys. <laughs> as the Gyoji points the goodbye forward, the man in blue is ready for sumo. Roga down first. It's Roga coming forward, but Oshoma getting the arm lock as Roga has that left hand. But it's <laughs> easy pickings for Oshoma as he uses the leverage of the arm to swing Roga out and over the Tawara. A beautiful show of sportsmanship as Roga hands the Sagari back and said, this is a different colour to mine, this must be yours. <laughs> Okuri Dashi win. For Oshoma, always a nice way to Oh, Oh, beautiful. I mean, win. everyone loves an Okuri Dashi. <laughs> he was able to turn Roga around. That arm lock was absolutely crucial there. Got him off balance and then applied the Norawa to finish him off. Push out by the back. You know, I love an Okuri Dashi. Mm. I felt, felt there was a, a generous application of the Kimado pair there. It was kind of sideways. It was sideways. But is there a sideways one? I feel like Okuridashi covers uh, back and sideways. 
Like it, the See, hand I, was on I, the butt. It was from behind. Oh, for well, sure. that's, I mean, you've you've opened a can of worms here. <laughs> yeah, because I feel like Oshi Dashi covers the angles from front and sides. Yeah, exactly. Which is what that was. Well, I felt he pushed him from the side yeah. to take him out there. You said it covers the angles of front and sides. Oh. I said uh, Oshi Dashi. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, to me, a Kuri Dashi. I heard a Kuri Dashi because I oh, wanted to Of course to hear you do. You, I mean, you tuned into that <laughs> Kimarete. But to me, it's a sacred Kimarete that should be reserved only when you're both facing the same direction. Yes. Do you yes, know? Yes. Your noses are both pointed at the same way. Now, if someone's being pushed from the side, your noses are not facing the same direction. That's true. Now, when we saw this in real life, we were happy. Because we got to see all these guys. But when I say it now... You're still happy. I'm happier. Yeah, you're happier. <laughs> We've got Takakesho uh, at the front. The we do. lone Ozeki. What can he do this time around? Can he get another Yusho? If he gets a Yusho, it seems like uh, the gods would smile on him. Or the sumo gods. A.K.A. Hakusuzu. Well, you, you can't... Recruit to become Yokozuna. You can't deny Takakesho. If he wins the Yusho, it is Yokozuna mm. promotion for sure. Would <laughs> leave a little gap in the Ozeki ranks. Yes. Well, and I think that's, that's a big concern. That's a problem. So because one of these guys, step up. So who's it going to be? Yokozuna is essentially a fancy Ozeki. In the sense that Yokozuna historically is in its own rank. Ozeki was the top rank. Mm -hmm. And it's special Ozeki get to be Yokozuna. You can't not have Ozeki. Yeah. You can not have Yokozuna, yeah. but you can't yeah. not have Ozeki. All right, well, let's uh, take stock of the rest of them. Got little uh, we, in the back row. Well, can we do a, like a special promotion? Who would you special promote to Ozeki? Oh, Who's the... Hari? Okay. <laughs> okay. Straight up. Straight up. Not the man on your screen? His brother? No. Okay. Go past him. Look at them. They're in the same row. Beautiful. But like legitimately, who... Like if you had to promote someone... Mm. It's Hoshori. It's Hoshori. It's Hoshori. Yeah. Although his form... Or Kodnawaka? I don't think Kodnawaka. I don't think Kodnawaka's got the runs Maybe on the board. Maybe through length of time in Sanyaku it... It is Wakatake. Well, it's, it's Taka North Shore. <laughs> <laughs> I took I mean, a second there. Yeah, I, I know, like, I know you did. I I'm know sorry, did. who? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, maybe. he'd be surprised as all of us, yeah. I think. <laughs> it's like you're promoted. <laughs> we, we remember the times when you spent three years at Sekiwake. <laughs> up you go, Knob Dog. Knob Dog's up. I mean... Uh, look at while well, the camera zooms in well, on I mean, I love, show. I love that we can't quite decide. That yeah. it's not quite but is that set. I'm sure everyone has their own opinion. But Somebody's a, yelling right now. Is that also a concern? Nah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thanks for that. No and, and, yeah, and I mean, the, the big pity is, is that Taka Yasu isn't one of these yes. names that we can be putting up. Yes. He was a basho yes. away from, I think, re-promotion. That injury, of course, took him out. Yes. He resets his campaign to return to Ozeki. Pop me Takemi up again. Oh, no, oh well, I don't mind that on. idea. That's one big name we haven't mentioned. Should I? <laughs> oh, okay. I love it. I love it. I re Ozeki him. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> Should I? You've been re ozeki <laughs> By Sumo Manichi. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, well, I mean, it's a, it's a very interesting <laughs> landscape of sumo <laughs> at the moment. It is a very interesting question. Who is going to be the next Ozeki? Because I think you're right in that to promote Takakesho, they have a massive problem if they promote Takakesho without having an Ozeki I, yeah, I, set. Like, he's, he's actually in big trouble now. Who? Takakesho until somebody well, I is wonder, ready but, but to I, go I, below him. I don't think... Like, you can't deny Takakesho's promotion based on lack of Ozeki. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like he shouldn't be punished. I wonder. It's Chiamaru. The round boy. We love him, Mr. Sumo. Mr. Sumo. Up. And can I say that to see this man in person is a distinct honour. 
Yeah, I mean, we, we've seen Chiyomaru on the screen over the last three or four, how long has it been? Five years since we've been mm. able to get back to Japan. Two Dimensions don't do this man any honour. <laughs> they need, don't... You need a, it, well, a you third do. and possibly a fourth. Possibly a fourth. <laughs> <laughs> there's height, there's width, there's depth, <laughs> there's vibe of sumo being the fourth dimension. <laughs> And seeing him step up on the doyo today, I mean, I was overwhelmed. I was crying. I mean, yeah. you, you, you saw, you said, what's up? I'm like, nothing. But you saw the tears streaming down my face. It was lovely. Lovely moment for Sumo. Sean Anomi, he's also a lovely moment for Sumo because he's popped straight up to Jurio 3 after going 12-3 and three in January in his debutante. Uh, Basho, I always imagine them in. This is. I didn't do this at my school, but when you get to what year is it? Year ten or something? Year eleven. Do a dead ball. Dead ball. Yeah. 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 Debutante so ball. Debutante ball. So I kind of imagine everyone getting dressed up in a white dress. That's still a thing in Australia, right? Yeah, I think dead balls are pretty big. Mm. Did you do one? Uh no. So I didn't, but I was meant to. Mm-hmm. But then I. I did the dancing lessons and yeah. Uh, and you just noped out of it. Oh uh, no! So like, so a girl from the year below asked me to do it. Oh, I hate her. And I said yes, <laughs> and <laughs> I broke my leg playing basketball. Oh right! Wow. Yeah. Convenient. So convenient. Oh, I was so bad at dancing. So you just couldn't do your deb. It wasn't my deb. Oh, it was her deb. Oh, is it only women who do it? I don't know. Do guys deb? I don't know. <laughs> that's our that's our Patreon episode discussion. <laughs> Do you guys deb? <laughs> Is but American? I don't know. Debs? I also no, don't what's know. the thing they do in America? I mean, I'm asking you like you know. I don't know. Like a coming of age thing. Oh, jeez. Well, my school didn't do it. Yeah. Which is a good thing. Well, it wasn't all girls' school as well. So. Let's move on to Chiyomaru, Shona Naomi. We were just talking about how amazing Shona Naomi was. And it's always interesting to see <laughs> an experienced Rikishi like Chiyomaru, who's been around forever, come up against Shona Naomi, who is just trying to force his way through the ranks. Just really, he spent enough time in Makushita. He's like, I'm done with it. I want to breeze through Jurio. I've got a 12-3 already. It feels like he won't be here long. How can I push this yeah, small ball out of my way? <laughs> small. Chimaru. He's wide, but he is still small. He moves backwards as Shona Nomi comes forward. Shona Nomi moving slowly, but Chimaru locks him up on the belt, which doesn't seem like the right idea. But Shona Nomi can't move Chimaru back. They lock up. Shona Nomi is on the belt. Chiyomaru can't reach Shona Nomi's belt. His arms are too small. So he uh, contents himself with locking up Shona Nomi's arms. Shona Nomi keeps his hips back out of the way of Chiyomaru. He tries again, Chiyomaru, to reach the belt. But again, he can't and he's forced back. And out, that is a number one day win for Shona Naomi. Yeah, mature sumo from Shona Naomi today. As you said, was very, very aware of the length of Chiyomaru's arms. <laughs> Kept Small. the hips. Well, he knew they were a little bit short, but he was cautious in terms of hip placement. Yeah. As we're going to see on the replay here, knew he had the advantage with the belt. You can see Chiyomaru there just reach out. Uh, almost a Hail Mary to try to get on the belt of Shonana Umi, try to get something going. He knew he was in a bad position, but Shonana Umi did what he needed to do. Great win for him, Yorikiri. Maybe we're going to get a shot here of uh, him handing the Chikata Mizu the water. Oh, yeah, we thought I, people were drinking I it. I wondered today, whether. Um, They'd started drinking it. Yeah. So as we see Abema flash up the wrong bout. Oh, yeah. Briefly there. Nice. Bit of subliminal uh, hype for the Chinakuni bout coming up. Not right now, though. As we take a step back in time to two. 
old boys <laughs> of Makuchi. We have Ichinojo up against Tochinoshin. They so have, weird to see this. It, well, I mean, at time at the time we were watching this going, are we watching Jurio? A rich tapestry of history these two have against each other. They first met in 2014, uh, back in July. Who could forget, well, that day when Tochinoshin at Jurio 12 knocked over <laughs> Ichinojo at Jurio 3. Uh, since then, the record sits with Tochinoshin, 11, sorry, 17 wins to 11 to Ichinojo. Uh, I mean, two greats of the sport. Ex Ozeki Tochinoshin. Back in Jurio now. Still so much to give to the sport, but you do feel like, well, as you said so perfectly today, the sun slowly setting. Yeah, I wondered whether uh, this might be towards the end, but I feel like I've wondered that for a long time. <laughs> yeah. And he's content to keep going, keep picking himself up again. Obviously, the power in his body isn't there. We can see that. He can, I'm well, sure, yeah. feel it. Uh, but against someone like Ichi Nojo, I mean, Ichi Nojo can just come out and give nothing. So you would have to value yourself today. You'd have to back yourself today as touching that shin. Ichi Nojo, uh, with real injury concerns, with back issues and hernia issues. Oh, and well, I mean, so, so many, many issues. issues. <laughs> <laughs> Loves uh, a drink. Probably shouldn't uh, be here today. Like, he's... he's uh, prognosis sounded like he wasn't going to turn up. I d didn't actually think he was going to fight, but well, uh, he said that he was and here he is. January was a forced sit-out yeah, for Ichi Nojo. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's why he's dropped down here. he fell from uh, Maegashira 7 down to Jurio 3. Yeah, but injury, but injury concerns yes. since then. Um, hernia business. Interestingly, Tochinoshin usually taped on both legs. Today, only on the right leg. Is that where all the issues lie? He's just abandoned the left. <laughs> <laughs> He's finally realised that strapping doesn't really do much. Yeah. Paper mache can only hold up <laughs> your year nine school projects. Well, let's take, me. let's take a step back in time. It's 2016 all over again. Ichi no jo up against Tochinoshin. A true privilege and a, and a treat for Jurio. Mm. Ichi Nojo. Well, I mean, we've seen he loves a mata. Yep. And shall we also say, Nande! <laughs> Crowd absolutely hated that. It doesn't no. really come across on the coverage, though. No. They didn't like it. It was Did very Did not like quiet. it, yeah. Some bouts people talk through. Yes. And some, there is an absolute hush before. It is so interesting to see. Well, here they go, Tochinoshin trying to find a left hand on the belt. And oh in the meantime, <laughs> Ichinojo wanders forward, takes him over the uh, Tawara there. Very easy and definitive win from Ichinojo. It was. That was a surprise. Maybe Tochinoshin <laughs> seeing himself out there. He didn't seem keen to mount very much of a defense at all. Not as much, yeah, like I was saying, hype for that match as I thought there would be. You can see there Tochinoshin missing that left-hand grip. I felt like his whole campaign was based around getting that early belt grip. When he didn't get it, the wheels fell off. Yep. Nothing happening there. And the final bout of Jurio, having said that. Final bout? Asani Yama. There must be more. Is up in Makuchi, which we will not cover. We'll just give you a spoiler on that one. But the final bout today is Chionokuni v Toha Kuryu. How is he so high? Chionokuni, very popular here in the Sumo Manichi area. Certainly, I mean, we were sitting... Yeah, I mean, we were towards the back. I mean, we weren't all the way back. But I could feel the Sumo <laughs> just resonating off this man's body. On the left of your screen, Chionokuni. Does he need any introduction? Abema TV believes not because they're not showing either of the Rikishi <laughs> Well, they've already right shown it. <laughs> well, okay. They mucked it up, so they can't show it again. Also, <laughs> but pull the shot a little wider. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a TV producer, but remember, here we go. Remember, 
got surprised by oh, the, very loud. Um, the sticks there, the sound of the sticks. That I was got, so loud got in the scared. stadium. Well, two men on your screen, you see the intensity of Chianakuni next to the <laughs> casualness <laughs> of Tohakuri. He's got some jokes for you. Yeah, it's just like it's like he's waiting for a bus with his top off. <laughs> Gina Cooney at Jurio Two. It's no secret that I've enjoyed his rise back through Jurio. That ten five back in January. Mm. Oh boy! How was he getting his wins? I can't remember. Uh, well, you know, it was a it was a mix. Look, I mean, like, let's not mince our words here. He he ripped his way through the bottom of Jurio. Well, he beat Oshoma. He beat Hokuseiho. He beat Gonoyama. He did. He got some big oh, he wins. he beat Roga. He beat Roga. He did. He beat Dashoho. He did. Wow, he beat all of the top guys. Did he beat Asanayama? No. And so... Only one man did. At Jurio 2, he's knocking on the door. His recent returns to Makuchi have been a little ropey. Mm -hmm. He went 4.11 at Magashira 9 this uh, January of 2022. Had a few days off injured in March of last year. And then he's been back in Jurio. Do you want to just him to just see out his time in Jurio? No. Or do you want him to get... I want one Makuchi more shot. Again? One, One more, more shot. shot. One more. It's for me. This is a selfish personal <laughs> thing. Yeah. I think he's got a lot to offer and I think his sumo has a lot to say. I just want one more platform for him to say it from. Well, Tohakuri, he is standing <laughs> in the way of that platform. Or well, the other guy. <laughs> he's at Jurio 1 here. And he's coming off a 9 and six. Tohaku, I feel like you look back and you can never quite uh, say how he's been He's going. an enigma. Five and ten before, yeah. eight and seven before that, three, eight, four days off before that. Really patchy. Yeah. Uh, but he's threatening. He's just moving consistently. Well, he's a Jurio one. And higher. He's a Jurio one. I yeah. mean, you know, you can't laugh at that. Knocking on the door, he wants to achieve something. Sometimes there's some questions about the style of his sumo. He well, loves a hanker, he loves, he loves a, a hanker. Loves a harakikomi. But that doesn't mean that he does not deserve a spot in the highest of high ranks. Only made his debut in 2019. He has not been around for very long. Gee, it feels like he's part of the furniture to Hakuri. Yeah. Always seems supremely disinterested with what's going on. He's not <laughs> allowing Chionakuni to <laughs> phase him at all. He goes down okay. second. Chionakuni always keen to get things okay. going. He goes Come in on. low and he's slapped straight down. That's a classic. Tohaku Hadakikomi to finish off Jurio today. How do you feel? I, I was hugely disappointed with this. Look. Watching this again, though, I, I see where this went wrong. Chinakuni was absolutely crowding the Shikiri Sen, the, the white line. Look at him, he's on top of it. And look, really, Tohakuryu was offered a gift and he took it. Yeah. I, I, I don't think this was dirty sumo from Tohakuryu. I think he was offered a chance and he took it. Yeah. And I, I just think Chinakuni overcommitted at the touchy eye. Great disappointment, though, because I wanted to see my boy win on day one. Would have been nice. He went in with his his body and his head rather than his yeah. uh, arms and his stability. This takes us to the Makuchi Do Iri, which was great. Makuchi was great, but we're not going to talk about it. No. But we will give one spoiler. Asaniyama, he comes up from Jurio, facing Mitoriu. Yeah, and just wipes the floor Absolutely with him. It was no, uh, no contest there, as you would probably predict. And, it, and the feeling in the stadium was that Asaniyama is the people's hero. Mm. 
They love him now. I mean, his merch is just like up yeah. there with all the other merch. Like, yeah. they are assuming that he's going to get back to the well, top ranks. It's like he never left Ozeki. Yeah. yeah. And really, the way he's fighting at the moment, I mean, it's, it's he's putting in very little effort and he's getting a lot of reward. Well, thank you so much for listening to our Jurio commentary. Uh, we have done this uh, a little bit behind time. But uh, we are intent on covering the great division that is Jurio. Uh, if you enjoyed this, you can also listen to our podcast, which is available on uh, Spotify, Apple Music, Apple Music, uh, music. Apple Podcasts, Apple Podcasts. Uh, Sumo Manichi. Please feel free to uh, subscribe, to like. We have a. Uh, Donation page where you can. Uh, well, we, we, we have made a conscious decision not to do a Patreon mm. because it feels like, you know, in these economic times, a monthly subscription isn't appropriate. Plus, we're not putting out as many podcasts as we, as we have in the past. But if you would like to make a contribution to our Sake Fund, you can do that via PayPal with our uh, email address, sumo manichi at gmail. And know that 100% of the money goes towards sake. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, thanks for joining us. It's been an absolute pleasure re-watching Jurio with you tonight. Uh, we'll be podcasting over the next three days as we're here in Osaka at the Sumo. If you see us outside the Osaka Prefectural Gymnasium, please come and say hi. Yes, or inside. <laughs> or inside. Uh, but... We'll see you very, very soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye.